Welcome back. Well, you know, when Reds Hall of Famer Dave Parker played the game, he was one of the best. And today, a special honor for the Reds legend where it all began. Not only did WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller get to do the story, he got a selfie that he's going <laughs> to remember forever as well. Hi, Curtis. Yeah, I was on, uh, actually doing an interview with Dave there. You know, uh, no doubt about it. We've been friends for uh, nearly 25 years, but I can tell you I've been a fan of Dave Parker's for more than 50 years. What happened today might be cherished as much as anything he received on the baseball field because this was extra special. It took place in his old neighborhood and was probably better than anybody title. This is royalty right here. Yeah. Dave Parker, number 39, the Cobra. What an amazing baseball player. His field of dreams started here in South Cumminsville, near Borden and Elmore, as a child, where he is now being celebrated in a big way with a street named after him. Well, this means everything. This is where it all started. It's a full circle. He, he's been so excited since he heard about it. So, he, you know, he's always, he's always worked hard, you know, to, and, and it's good that he gets recognized, you know, by his hometown, home neighborhood. He began his career with the Pittsburgh Pirates, taking over the position of right field after the death of Pirates legend Roberto Clemente. But he eventually returned to play with his hometown team, the Reds. That was what was great about it. He came, not only came home, he came home impactful. You will often hear folks talk about the things Dave Parker did on the field, but his off the field community and charitable work and his loyal friendship are priceless. Dave has been very public about his battle with Parkinson's disease. His wife of 40 years, Kelly, always by his side. Life is life. You know, whatever comes at you, you got to be positive, you know, hold on to God's hand and keep it, keep it moving. You know, no pity party or anything like that. Everybody has a cross to bear. I would like to thank people still consider me a great player. This is a, a great moment, one that I always share. Yeah, it really was a great moment and, and seeing uh, you know, so many people coming out there to support him was really great. Dave and Kelly's work with the Dave Parker 39 Foundation to educate folks about Parkinson's has been overwhelming. And by the way, they've raised thousands of dollars to help make life just a little bit better for those living with this disease. Let's hope the next naming is on a plaque in Cooperstown is long overdue. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.